Okay, um, let's kick this off. The very first thing is we have a shirt. It's uh, part of Adafruit's policy to only stock women's sizes first. So uh, as you may know, we don't do NFTs. We don't collect NFTs unless you're talking about nice effing T-shirts. Here, um, here's this a is shirt. The front. Gonna... This is the back. There's nothing on the back. I'll talk about uh, my custom version that I'm doing. Um, here's Lady Ada wearing it outside of an NFT gallery here in New York City. And we're doing something special. When you buy this uh, shirt right now, again, it's only a woman's size. Mm -hmm. We'll have other sizes later, but this is how we start. And we wish other tech companies would do the same. Um, you get a party pack with um, a bunch of cool things. And, uh, you know, when I fill out the, the form before I go live on YouTube, it says, is, is this for children? And I say no. So there is some, uh, you know, adult humor in some of this stuff. So I'll let you uh, check out some of the other things that it comes with. Um, but, uh, you know, there's, one could say there's a little bit of cursing here and there. Um, but it is uh, wholesome memes and more. And we wanted to make it clear that uh, we don't do NFTs unless you're talking about Nice FN t-shirts. If you want to check out our amazing gallery of shirts that the Adafruit team has, you can check out our statement. And then um, we all got together and we decided, like, let's show our shirts because we all seem to collect amazing shirts here at Adafruit. People so, at Adafruit have great taste. Yeah. And uh, there's lots of amazing shirts. Every day we have a stand-up meeting here and I'm like, hey, who has a cool shirt today? Um, the history behind some of these, who bought them for who? Uh, dead inside, but caffeinated. Um, there's retro ones. This is a shirt that was given to uh, someone's dad here. Uh, amazing. Like, it, like there, there's so many neat things that uh, people use to express themselves, like T-shirts. Uh, this is kind of neat. Improvising electronic devices is not a crime. So anyways. Oh, that was sent in. Thanks. Yeah, well, we've had that one. So then, anyways, that's it. Do you want to show, uh, do you want to hold it up here? Yes, I just had it. Sorry, oh, right there's a lot going on. Yes. Yeah, it's a beautiful shirt, soft. Um, this is from the Share Zone, and uh, this has helped us out too because uh, we have uh, stalkers and harassers who keep saying we do NFTs, we don't. We don't. Um, and so, unless you mean. Unless you mean nice seven t shirts. Okay. So, anywho, um, that's the shirt. Uh, if you're not a woman's size, that's okay. We'll have some we'll other get some ones later. soon. And you get the party pack with it. Next up, Lady Ada. Okay, start of the show, other than maybe the feather, is yeah, uh, we'll we have a new STEMI QT board. This is an arcade, LED arcade STEMI QT um, breakout, which lets you connect up to four arcade buttons with LEDs built in. Um, and here, thank you, is a wonderful uh, video of Jelly showing off our um, 23 millimeter arcade buttons. Um, and they have LEDs in them. and. Um, we had some people who were doing projects and they're like, I want to make your MIDI fighters or I want to make an arcade interface. Um, but before you know it, you're using a lot of PWMs. You have a lot of inputs. Um, could you make a version that makes it easy to control these? And in addition, um, our red and yellow um, LED arcades and other LED arcade buttons often need five volts for the LED. They're, they're not designed for three volt logic and power. And so there's a little mini boost converter on there that'll convert whatever voltage that's coming in uh, to five volts. So even if you're running this off of a Raspberry Pi or, you know, an RP2040, that's a 3.3 volt logic and power board, um, the LED will be lit and PWM'd with five volts. So it's I squared C to four button inputs and um, four PWM LED outputs with five volts max current drive. There is a resistor in series. So if the LED doesn't have a resistor, you know, don't worry, you're not going to blow out your LEDs. It's, it's like super safe no matter what. Okay, and you want to show it off? Yeah, I thought I'd show it off. So um, this is the same, you know, I think it's one inch by three inches that our um, other, you know, the Neo key and the Neo slider. So it's kind of a, you know, DIY interface uh, using all the same size PCBs. Um, here I have it plug and played into a Stemma QT port on a Cutie Pie. Um, and there's a little mic controller with four address jumpers and this is connected over I squared C. And it's reading um, the button press, and you can see it's pulsing the LED PWM and 8-bit um, PWM number from uh, 0 to 255. And you can see how responsive it is. Like, That's even nice. though this is over I squared C, the button is read and the LED is written is, is happening pretty much instantaneously. Do we sell those wires? Yes, these are arcade quick connects. Um, they're great for connecting to 
arcade buttons and micro switches uh, very easily. Um, no soldering is required, which is why I, I particularly like this for if you want to add arcade buttons, you just, you know, you just plug the JST XH connector in and it's polarized. And then on the other side, um, these, I mean, they're, they're, they're a tight fit on purpose. I kind of don't want to break um, this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I don't want to break it, but yeah. it's, if you use pliers, you know, they pop yeah. right off, but if you're using your hand, I don't want to, you're not supposed don't. to yank by the cable. We're, don't do know, what I just the, did. The, the demo gods are treating us nice tonight. Let's, yeah. not, let's not tempt it. Um, so yeah, the, you don't have to use these small LED buttons. We also have ginormous ones, um, but you'll just make, you want to make sure you have the right arcade quick connects for whatever size button you've got and uh, LED uh, okay. socket. All right, and then um, the start of the show tonight, so ideally our community, our customers, a different team, um, is the free pink feather. They're back. They're so, back. So, um, you know, that was a new product, but the only way to get the pink feather is just to load up your cart and then you get a free one after you spend yes. $99 or more. And, you know, look at the chart, learn some things, use the code and more. It's and that pink, guys. Is this week's new product. I'm going to say no to pink. Nonsense.